Hey everybody, we're on the way back from Toledo 2016 and we're in a major traffic jam. This guy says it's going to take an hour. He's doing the do. Actually, it's two miles that way. Uh, ten, ten, two ten. or ten? Ten? Ten miles. Crazy town, man. We should take a nap. If I can drive up this grass, it's only the grass on the bridge. <laughs> Well, I don't think the big black truck will make it up the grass. Uh -huh. I don't think my truck will make it up the grass. Now it's two wheel and it weighs like 8,000 pounds. I can power right through it. Now let me see your feet again. All right, we got Miss Ashley in the back here. Hey, Miss Ash. Hi. Jason Cole is driving the big black truck. Her feet was sticking up the truck, so we made her stick them out the window. And get out here a little bit. <laughs> well, I got some news. The uh, the uh, little uh, three-way gimbal didn't work really well. And then my microphone, it didn't work very well either. <laughs> I went pretty high-tech, and none of the tech worked. And uh, I think it was a technical problem. <sighs> well, <laughs> we did get a lot of videos up, and we got a lot of news out on the site. And uh, we were just going to talk about some of the cool stuff that we saw. Let me think. I saw some cool stuff in the Horizon booth. They had a big new... Oh, I, you know what? we got a problem here. Everybody is completely burnt out, and I don't know if our brains work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delirious. Let me start with Ashley. I was going to wing it, but... Uh... I got something. Don't worry. My, right. brain, my brain's still... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> my brain's still on. Uh, my, uh, favorite, <laughs> my favorite part of the show was, uh, of course, seeing my family, but getting my girl time in. What are you doing? Family? Getting my girl time in. Your friend family. Your Case, family. Miss Casey was there. Is Casey that a real was thing? there. Family? Kim Payne, and I got closer, which was really nice. Found out I got a lot of stuff in common with her. Let, let me just say, uh, Miss Casey is Jason. You know all of <laughs> Casey is uh, Jace Ducey's mom. Jace flies for Extreme Flight. And Kim Payne is the grand dame of Horizon Hobby. That's right. And I got to see Jenny, uh, who's a photographer for the AMA. Jenny brought a giant airplane into the bar last night. <laughs> and yeah. you, you can see that on the bar video. Um, I interrupt this conversation for a brief update on the road trip. We've moved exactly one nowhere, inch. Nowhere. Exactly nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. Oh wait, got a got a commenter. Bring her, bring her on it. <laughs> Says, I need an over-the-shoulder selfie. Yes. I don't get it. What's that mean? Ashley's the king at it. Oh, oh, oh okay. There you go. Are, you know what? I bet you you're not remembering what your favorite part is, and if it, it, you you, oh. the, you were the master of it. I do. I do have a favorite part. Dang it. This through. Okay. My favorite part is Little Pete. Little Pete. Little Pete. So wee, Little Pete. It's a new uh, action figure from Horizon Hobby. And uh, so I'll give you the backstory on Little Pete. We were talking about the Carbon Z Cub and it had a pilot figure in it. And we all realized that the pilot looked exactly like Pete Goldsmith, <laughs> old friend and bandmate of mine. And so I immediately took it out of the airplane and I was going to go find Pete to get a selfie. But Pete, like, was there and then gone. So then we're all standing around, and that devolved into other people talking like Pete, <laughs> as Little Pete. And Little then, Pete-isms. And then, yeah, Pete-isms. And then Pete walked up, and he had no idea what we were doing, and I just stuck Little Pete next to his head. I'm Little Pete! Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah, Little Pete, little sweet Little Pete was there. Little Pete sat on my shoulder for a little while. It held on to his ear, and it was creepy. He talks to me. He whispers, like... It's like you're good and you're yeah, bad, huh? Helps me fly better. He's like, you need to get your DLG launching flatter. <laughs> That's a terrible <laughs> Austrian accent. That was no good. Do, you, do, but, do your uh, Pete Goldsmith. Ashley. Ashley? Ashley, you're a weird girl. But I like you, all right? <laughs> so we noticed in the video Pete's face turned really red. So it, obviously we had embarrassed him without really meaning to. It meant it was all from the heart, Pete. Pete says you guys got to get a new joke. <laughs> <laughs> About five minutes later. 
but on Facebook, his mother said she thought it was hilarious, and so Pete decided that it he was hilarious. Board. Yeah. So I'm distracted by Ashley's weird half socks. I see it in the side view mirror. Hold on. Like, get, get some real socks. <laughs> So Little Pete has its own feature article on rcgroups.com. You can go and look at the uh, airplane section and it has Little Pete and Horizon Hobby. Oh, what's this? $29.95. Little Pete was too fast, too short. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably hands down. Oh the no, most he said, hilarious. I think he said two feet too short. I didn't read that, but. Yeah, two, he was. Two feet too short. Little Pete was missing some legs. Yeah. <laughs> he had a Lieutenant Dan Lieutenant situation going Dan. on. <laughs> I can't feel my leg. So you can buy Little Pete, I heard. So when I get home, I'm going to buy Little Pete. And if I can actually get one, I'm going to get it and take it with us on Seth. It'll be a uh, Flex Innovations Mamba right, right there. The giant Mamba. The Mamba. Yep. And uh, there was a little credit card issue, and uh, Kike Somanzini said, uh, Ashley, you got, got some, some problems. Some troubles. <laughs> Problemas, Got man. some troubles. So we have that coming back with us. And uh, one thing I thought was interesting as a uh, post thought is I was in Ready Made. Now, as you may or may not know, I recently uh, got a DX9, which I finally have on a, a model. And I saw DX9 in the ready-made booth, and I said, what is that doing here? And they said, yeah. They said, uh, we fly DX9s now. And I said, what do you mean you fly DX9s? You're Tyrannus boys. And they said, no. Nah. They said, we started. We tried the DX9, and it felt better, it worked better, it had all the, all the options that we needed. And so we're all flying DX9s. And I was like, that is huge. Huge, Jason. That's a big deal. I mean... Yeah, Tyrannus is pretty popular in FPV, and to hear those guys say, I like the DX9 better, it's interesting, you know? You know, one thing that really uh, struck me on this trip was that... Oh, we're driving! Gonna... Update! We are now driving forward. <laughs> Big thing that... All right! Woo! <laughs> That's right. One thing that struck me was that uh, we've been t uh, giving Ashley um, classes on how to... Uh, interact with people and be more lively and less shy and it really paid, paid off on this one <laughs> yeah you guys know me i uh came out of my shell this time so thanks for that thanks for you know it must have been all your stories i was trying to trying to make some of my own now well when you're in the truck for 14 maybe 16 hours <laughs> so we we did some uh, evening time activities. We went out on some dinners. One of them, uh, I don't know, how do I forget every year that if you go out to dinner during Toledo, you're gonna wait in at least an hour? <laughs> we waited like an hour and 15. To eat some ribs. They were super nice but though. They were good, and, and some cake cornbread. And I will say that, uh, you know, we were inviting people on the podcast on the way up and a podcast before that, and we actually had some folks. And since, hey, good news, we had an hour to burn. We were able to stand around in the lobby and talk to everybody. Yeah, it worked out pretty cool. It was fun. And then uh, we had a we went to the bar last night, and the theory was that we were just going to say, "Hey, uh, the bar is kind of where business gets done." People are like, "You know what? I'd like to do run an ad." Usually is what they say to me, or uh, "Hey, I'm banned." <laughs> I, I did walk up to a guy and shake his hand and say, "Hey, I'm Jim Graham," and he said, "Hey, I'm banned." And so um, we had a talk, and it went well, you know. So uh, that's the good part about the show. Is uh, the other part is I had a lot of people coming up to me saying, "Hey, we watch the videos and your podcast, listen to your podcast, and um, we love it, and thank you for everything you do." So uh, we all sit in our offices all day, uh, taking care of everything that we take care of. We don't really hear that very often, so it's awful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's all, and, and, Watch then we, out. and then we get hit from behind. <laughs> You're right. Real good. Update. I, I sped up on purpose, so uh, we that's can do that. That's called a brake check. <laughs> and they work. No, no one likes it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, you know, if they hit me, they'd hit a three, a giant ball hitch back there. And like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Poke a hole in it. But radiator. anyway, thanks to everyone who stopped and talked to us. We did give away a lot of stickers, but we also were out most of the time per usual. I mean, it's been a decade now that we've been doing this. Um, longer, actually, 13 years. 
Uh, oh, by the way, uh, big news, RC Groups is officially uh, coming into our time frame of our 20th anniversary. So we're going to have some articles out, we're going to be giving away some t-shirts, we're going to be giving away some plus accounts, we have a lot of things to talk about, and luckily we have a whole week to do that before we leave for set. <laughs> yeah. RCG swag on the way. Week. And then uh, when we get down to Seth, which uh, it's not really a week, it's like a week and a half. Week yeah. and a half. Yeah. Week and a half, we'll be down at Seth, we'll be back in the truck with Miss Ashley, and I say we do it just like we did it this time. We, uh, do we have to take Miss Ashley? Yes, we have to take Miss Ashley. <laughs> I am, I have been requested. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. It might seem like a good time, that's because it is. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say we have more energy now than we have in the last four hours. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm going to say I'm the one that suggested that we do an update. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Miss <laughs> Ashley. No problem. That's what I'm here for. Those, uh, those Goodwill RC Ambassador lessons are really coming through for you. <laughs> what else did we do? I mean, we've got folks on here. We might as well talk. It's only been 14 minutes. Yeah. So... Although, I don't know. Maybe short videos are better. We were having this discussion. Maybe you guys prefer... Uh, so it depends on what three minute videos versus super long videos. You can always uh, leave a comment and let us know what you like. Oh, bingo, right here. Bingo, bingo. Bingo, bingo. It says, hey, I'm, da I'm Dan. What? <laughs> hey, Dan. <laughs> Is this hey, I'm Dan? Yeah. Hey, Dan. Dan, if you travel to Seth, we'll put you on the live broadcast at <laughs> rcgroups.com. Your face here. <laughs> Got to visit a lot of booths. Got to take a lot of pictures. Um, let me see. We do have Matt, Matt Gunn is on the ground. And I said, Matt, today I would love for you to take more photos. And so we should have some more photo floods coming out. I think all the videos may be up unless Matt's out there. I know that he's I up see more feet room. sticking out. Me too. There's, I'm not the only one. Oh, she's brave, though. There's Those more are feet. If we get up next to that truck, I'll get that on the video. <laughs> By the way, congratulations to Matt Gunn. For second, second place, place. FPV. Aircraft? $350. Yeah. That's awesome. Split yeah. between all four of us is what? You know, we'll just build another dang airplane. <laughs> yeah. And Ooh. you did some seminars. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, we did our seminar, and we had a lot of people coming back. Okay, let me adjust. Hold on, here we go. Ew. I had a lot of people coming back saying that they really appreciated the FPV seminar. Now, I had Matt uh, record the first one, and I know pretty sure it didn't go up. I haven't seen it. Not yet. So I, maybe I uh, later next week we'll get our FPV seminar going up. And basically it was us talking about all our favorite gear and then we took questions from the crowd. Which I think they really liked. That. He's, he's going to have to get back on good internet to upload that. It's an hour long video. You know one thing we forgot to mention was that uh, Ashley's back has been hurting her and we were going to try and get her a back rub in the booth and we didn't even tell anyone about no, it. No, we didn't. And apparently there was a place there that was giving massages. And I didn't even see this place. Oh. <laughs> so uh, hey, it's Lil Pete. Lil Pete. <laughs> While we were doing Ash, we're picking your nose. Oh, yeah. All, a little left. Winner. So, uh, I, the guy in the truck next to us, uh, his name was Big. Country. Then, big country. Big country. Is that let's what it said? Let's call him Big Country. I was going to call him Big Country. I love it when you call me Big Country. <laughs> he, said oh, it yeah, was, he, he said the wreck is 10 miles away. 10 yeah. miles? I and thought we, it was two. No, 10. We were asking him which one. I'm saying two in my head oh. just to make me feel better. This says updates are good. <laughs> We've moved two inches. <laughs> no, more than that. All right. Well, here's what always happens. This is why. Oh, we got another one. Oh, oh. Great it. It says, I like the long videos, actually. Oh. Uh, awesome. <laughs> well, we can, we can make that happen. Let me see if this works. Hold on. This is what I've been doing. <laughs> we, somebody said that we should do a 24-hour-a-day live broadcast <laughs> from Toledo, which would be pretty, I mean, most of the time it would be going. Yeah. Oh, it, would yeah. it would only cut you off from the internet every three minutes. Yeah. So okay. Oh, let's talk about that. Somebody was like, where's the live feed, man? And I, oh, here's what happened. I went through that hall half of the first day doing live feeds and really excited about it. 
And then when we went upstairs, we found out that the feed kept cutting out. And so if I toured the whole Hobbico booth with you, it would only show just a tiny piece of it. And then that was it. So I decided, I made the executive decision that uh, we can't do that. But we do think that we can do this at Steph. I'm in California, but heading out to the Joe Nall. See nice. you there. Awesome. So uh, at Joe Nall, we're everywhere. Uh, but my, the end of the story is, while Sorry. it didn't work in the building, we do think it'll work in the field. Now, yeah. Joe Nall's a whole nother horse because it's so far in the country. <laughs> But uh, I do think it's Seth will be able to live broadcast, and if so, that'll be awesome. All will be uh, the only two restraints will be battery power and data plan. We got this. <laughs> Churn through the data, man. We will make it happen. We're on my data right now, as a matter of fact. Oh, you lucky ducks. Uh, Joan All. So we're well, first we're going to Seth, and uh, we'll be there Wednesday. Yep. And uh, let me say that again. Wednesday. What was that? Wednesday. <laughs> RCgroups.com, the world's largest and, and most, most active, active RC website. website. Network. Network. <laughs> Network. <laughs> but we'll go to Seth and we'll We're cover moving. it. We'll cover it daily. We're not moving. I can see right down the line. <laughs> Nothing's happening. We're going to move. Oh, feet. here comes feet. <laughs> when I get the feet. Oh, they're moving oh. too, though. You guys want to see feet? All right, all right. Oh, oh, oh no. They, they might get out of their car and kick my bootocks. <laughs> nah, they moved up too. Okay. Um, at Joan All, we will bring you daily coverage. Now, we will be in an RV, and hopefully we'll have good connection out of that. Here it comes. I'm nonchalant. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that works. I don't want to offend anybody, you know. And I'm back in park. But, uh, uh-oh, they're pulling out. That's, that's don't, look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't so, uh, look. That's casual. <laughs> <laughs> Whistle. <laughs> so, we don't know where we're camping, but we'll be in our uh, very loudly clad golf carts, and we'll be out taking photos and shooting videos, and we'll try to do some live feeds out of there. I'm going to assume that we cannot make that happen. But maybe we can. There she comes. Ding, ding, ding. What was your favorite part of the show? Well, that's where we were talking about that. <laughs> Lil Pete! Lil Pete! So, wee, Lil Pete! Well, I got to meet Natalie from Hobby Co. Yeah. She's new there, and we ate some ribs. And then I also got to hang out with Miss Kim from Horizon. And Kim and I have known each other way back to the Hobby Lobby days. And so, we work together on a lot of stuff for the site, like reviews and uh, ads and things like that, but we're also old friends. Her husband, David Payne, is also an old friend, and so it's always great to see them. And then uh, you guys can chime in here. When we go to a show like this, you hang out with these people so much, especially uh, with this season that's about to come upon us. We're going to see all these same people two more times. That The friendships get pretty close, and so the best part is to hang out with the people. Family. Yeah. Framily? Framily, your friend family. And this is a Jenny Alderman term. I um, love Jenny. I love to see love Jenny. Jenny. She's a, go ahead. I was just going to say she's a super lady. She is. And I said, I made sure to say bye to her before I left. And Jesse was there. Jesse Symes was there. I might have uh, two stepped with Jesse. That's right. That was. That was one of my favorite parts. I'm sorry. Did anybody videotape that? No. I got to. Jim gave me a little quick jitterbug. That's what it was, right? Lesson. I gave you a lesson. Little jitterbug. quick, little quick jitterbug lesson. No, no, you gave me a little quick jitterbug. <laughs> we walked by the AMA booth and they looked so tired. And I thought, you know what? These people need some dancing. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got in their booth and we uh, did. I did a little uh, musical background. We recorded that. Okay. But the one at, I thought you meant the one at the bar. Oh yeah. That well, was not recorded. Then we did a live bar feed, and I knew that was uh, going to be a tricky thing. If you want to see all this stuff, go to the YouTube channel. It's all loaded up there. But the bar is interesting because all the people that are behind the booths are drinking booze at the bar <laughs> after hours. And so uh, Dave um, Martin, David Martin, the son of Jim Martin, Jim founded Hobby Lobby way back when. He was with me, and he's saying, there's the guy from SIG, and there's the guy from Sullivan, and there's and he, he knew everybody's name, and it was awesome. So definitely, like, re reuniting with family is always nice, too. 
Yes, and so the thing about Toledo is you're inside, which is good and bad because you're in Toledo, so it's snowing outside. I was about to say, and it snowed! And I, as soon as it did, I ran out and went and played in it with Zach. I wish I had a video of that. <laughs> we were chasing snow around trying to eat it. Imagine a puppy with its tongue out <laughs> trying to catch snow on it, <laughs> jumping in the air. I know you all have seen puppy and snow videos. It's it's pretty cute. That's all I'm saying. My dog loves snow. Whenever it happens, she'll just go nuts. So the thing about Toledo is your hotel room is just a, not that far away, and it's, it's pretty convenient, but you're on the floor of the trade show all day. But at Joe Nall and Seth, you will be in the sun. So I'm wearing a felt hat because it's cold outside. And next week, I'll be wearing a straw hat because we're going to get a sunburn. Yeah. Right? It's it's a, what was it, 30, 34 degrees last night and snowing, and, oh. now, and then we're going to go to probably 70 in the middle of the night. And, and outside my window, it was snowing up. The snow was going up. Matt and I, I don't know, I know at least Matt and I saw it because I texted Jim and Matt at the same time. We were up in our rooms uh, getting ready for dinner. And then and we all got a text that said it's snowing outside, so we all looked outside. And you can actually, we actually got, or I got to, and Matt, I know Matt, did you get to see it come in? Like the, the storm? Mm. Or were you, were you looking when it started snowing? It was already snowing. It was just pretty amazing. We're right over the ball field, too. So the, at first we look out there, and it's, it's sunny. Uh -huh. And the clouds, you can see the clouds, and something kind of, it looks like rain. And then the green ball field, and then all of a sudden the storm comes in, and then... I was on the other side of the building. That's why I didn't see it. But Matt shot a time-lapse one-hour thing of the snow, and it's pretty amazing to watch it. Yeah. So, Joe and all, so Seth, we're going to go to Seth, and I always try to wear pants one day, and then I realize that summer is here, and then I go switch to shorts, and Je Seth is always a ton of fun, and I'm looking forward to that. Joe Nall is gigantic with so many flat lines that you are running and gunning, and uh -huh. sometimes it's super sweaty hot. You know what I mean? We need to get those little fans. Yep. <laughs> you know, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Oh. What? Oh, I thought it was a I did get something pop, but it was your Facebook. <laughs> well, we have a lot of viewers. We're at 25 minutes. This is probably the most video content we've ever pushed out in one week. We've gone 600 feet in that time. <laughs> I said that if we had a, a uh, my wing, if I had my DX9, I could just fling it out the window and fly out and see what's, see what's going on. I'm sure the FAA wouldn't care about that. Right, no. I can fly down the middle of the construction. I would never do that, FAA. Um, they would. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I feel like we're running out of energy here. A little. No, no, it'll spark back up, right? What about these things? These things are pretty cool. This stupid GPS has said two hours and eight minutes for the last 30 minutes. So... These were made up and printed and given away at the show. I thought they were pretty cool. I got lots Tread of compliments. Tread on RC, is that what it says? I got, yeah, I got lots of compliments on my badge. And um, I sure said... it was the badge they were complimenting? I said that we should make one that uh, has a quad on it and it says, uh, come and take it. <laughs> like the cannon. I believe that's a Texas thing, come and take it. We need to wear that those is, at Seth. That is a Texas Alamo thing. They well, as far as I know, there were no stabbings or brawls at the FAA booth. At Toledo, so I heard good some, job, RC people. <laughs> some people gave them their their the what for? Yeah, told them what they thought. <laughs> I bet they I would. Did. I would not have wanted to be like the poor people from the FAA that have to go man that booth. I heard that what happened is you'd say, "I want to talk about this," and they'd go, "You should talk to this guy," and then you'd wait in the line, talk. and then <laughs> and then that guy would go, "You should talk to that guy." What is this? Can you see something? There's someone on the side of the road with the hood. Is this up. the wreck? I don't think so. I hope it is. I think this just happened in the process. Somebody probably overheated. I have overheated in a traffic jam. And if we're still broadcasting, you too will see it. Look, <laughs> we're in the right-hand lane. With nothing to sweat now. That's right. We're in the yeah. You got nothing to worry about. I think this guy is shirtless too. We got some kind of cops thing happening. <laughs> Bad boys, what, what you going No, what you want? What you going to do? When Sheriff Judge Brown comes for you, tell me. <laughs> what you going to do? What you going to do? Here we go. This guy is going to eat us. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Oh, this woman's driving. Did we get it? All right, that did not help. Dropping my phone would be a real drag. <laughs> Literally. 
You got people watching just your car driving by. <laughs> Please, someone call and tell where my phone is. <laughs> well, we've talked about where we're going. We've talked about where we've been. Uh, we, all our news stories are up, except maybe uh, some Matt Gun stories. We have a few pictures that might go live. We had pizza for lunch two days. Just. You know, that was pretty good. Throwing it all in there. You know why pizza delivered is good? Because usually we forget we don't get to eat it all. I was about to say because you don't have to go get it. <laughs> if I can make a suggestion for any pizza store owners, when somebody orders delivery, can you just throw some napkins in with the order? <laughs> We didn't get any napkins both days. Oh, womp, womp. You know what a drag that is. Here's what happened to me. Um, this is too much information, but we've been driving a while. I was never a germaphobe until I had children, and I saw what they did with their hands. And so now I am a germaphobe. And so... Uh, they are pretty... Gross. Nasty. Yeah. And so I didn't have any napkins. We're eating pizza down in the <laughs> lobby, and Jason goes, Are those napkins? And I was like, Look at those napkins just laying there. So I picked three up. Wipe my mouth and realize the edge of it was wet with something. <laughs> so he wipes it and goes, Oh, that was wet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't freak out, As but much. I'll never do that again. Then he pulls out his coconut beach siesta. I just, this was from sanitary <laughs> lotion. What? Molen Lab RC? Oh. Molen, what is that? I believe that that is a free. Uh, banner ad oh. on the live broadcast. <laughs> I like your marketing skill set. <laughs> nice. If you want a banner though, you should call me because I can yeah. hook you up like a tow truck. <laughs> tow mater. All right, uh, Ashley, I need you to ask them if we if we need to stop. Do we need to stop talking? Hey guys, is it time is it time for us to stop talking or no? Yes or no? Yeah. You think I'm cute? Yes or no? Happy face emoji. Sad face emoji. <laughs> Big eyes. <No! laughs> Tongue to the side. Uh, I guess it's not. <laughs> Here's some cows. Right out there on that hill. Did anyone answer I if they want us I to stop talking yet? No, I guess that means no. <laughs> Shut up. You know what um, I hate is uh, my kids play punch buggy. Slip bug? It just no seems slip. like a uh, good excuse to hit me in the arm a lot, really. Yeah. Didn't you come up with those kind of games when you were young? No. Oh, oh, I got an emoji. Talk on. All right, brother. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. Glasses we down. We could talk about, Jason, what you and I are going to try to fly between now and then. I, I uh, had the RXD250 from Hobbico, which is a, uh, I'm calling it a basher quad because it's all foamed up and protected. I did get the little cable I needed to get it flying, so I'm probably going to plug that thing in and get some FPV gear on it. And I'll probably start in the backyard. I will say, if you've seen my reviews, you know my backyard's pretty big and wooded. But uh, I gotta say, with this FAA and all this drone talk on TV, I am a little paranoid. I got a neighbor back there, I like to play the blues in my backyard through electric guitar pretty loud, and that guy honks his horn at me sometimes <laughs> to make me stop. And I'm so, so I don't know how good they feel about that. About yeah, he might get all droned out on me. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna get the RXD going before we head out. We got a new one. There you go. Molen lay meaning come and take them is a classical expression oh, of defiance. I knew that. I, I like we like that better than your marketing technique. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I knew that because uh, uh, Jason and I go to the range quite often, so I've actually seen that on the side of a weapon. Oh really? I knew that. That's nice. kind of. I haven't done the research on where that came from. On it, I'm sure it's an ancient term, but maybe it's a new way to uh, display your feelings in a it's in an insider sort of way. Yeah. Not sure. 
Well, I've got the yep. uh, Louisville Cave Race coming up at the end of the month, and I've got a new QAVR that I need to do some tuning on, so I'll probably, I may go out tomorrow even. It's supposed to be a fairly nice day. Is that your whole 210 or 180? Uh, it's, it's, well, that comes in different uh, size arms. So it's got the four inch arm, so it's technically a 180 size in its current form. You know what else I have that might be at the house when I get there, because they asked me before I left if I received it. It's the Hermit quadcopter, and it's tiny. It looks to be like smaller than the size of my oh, hand. Oh, yeah. And they say it's indestructible. It's not, here's what I don't want. I don't want a light kid toy like quad. I'm out of that, I've done that enough. I don't want any more of those. What I do want is something that is uh, flies like a real quad and can carry a FPV cam and allows me to fly through the backyard without the neighbor noticing. You know what I would do? I mean, that might be cool too, but the, the new version of the uh what the nano qx yeah from horizon i got to see it in person i did the news article on it when they released it but i got to see one in person at the show and i really like it it's got where you can tilt the camera up so you can get going get a little faster and see um, but it's got the higher milliwatt video transmitter um, it's got the inverted motor system so you can hit the ceiling you can hit obstacles and the props are protected so I think that's going to be kind of the new standard for indoor FPV racing. It's got an easy push button tran uh, channel changer on the quad, so it's real easy to get multiple people on different channels. How much is it? Uh, I didn't look at the price. I don't know, but it's under like you know 150, 160 bucks, maybe something like that. The other thing, we'll see if it happens. Um, ZB from Esprit Flight, had, Jason mentioned it, it has some new paragliders. And I picked out, I've never had a paraglider, but I have expressed interest because I thought it would be cool not only like at Seth in the evening, but also at the beach, maybe down in Florida, it might be cool to catch the breeze off the ocean and fly it along the beach line. So uh, ZB, if you're listening, that would be awesome to get going, which will be tricky before Seth and Joe and all will throw it in the big black truck. What happened to Ashley? I'm she... here, I'm here, I'm listening. Oh, okay. I'm listening. I thought maybe uh, um, I fell, back fell asleep. asleep. <laughs> what state are we in? Are I have not been we sleeping in the whole time. We're still in Kentucky. Hey, some Kentucky bourbon. I, if I know one thing, I know Jerry L. Smith is not watching this podcast. But hey to Jerry L. Hey Jerry L. Nine time world fun fly champion. How can I get an RC Group's banner for the garage? And I'll be at the cave race one week before the null. Nice. That's good information. I got to say, uh, Jason and I are kind of in charge of things like that. We will have t-shirts for Joe Nall. We will be giving away, uh, we haven't determined, well, we have, but we need to solidify. For the 20th anniversary of RC Groups, we are going to start giving away some shirts, and we have them in the truck. Let's see. I, I don't have one. They're in the boxes back here. No, I might have one. Keep talking and so, uh, but that doesn't answer your banner question. There really isn't a way to get an RC Group's banner, but it could be something that we could check into to see if there's. I know our banners are not cheap. Well, if you're near, if you're, I don't know if you're near Louisville or not because you're going to the cave race, but if you're having a big FPV event or big drone race or something, and, and maybe it's one that we can attend or something, we'll bring our FPV race skates flags and stuff not to not for you to keep but we can utilize them at the events that's kind of what they're there for and one thing that i have been doing and I, I will do it when i see matt again is jason's got some fpv gates and flags i have some of our rc groups gates and flags and now matt's going to have some which means that we'll never well we will when we're all together so at Seth, we're going to have our gates with us in case they need them and then i know at joan all they're going to use them and uh, when the guys are out competing at show, or are covering FPV events, then you can grab a, ooh, I'm tired. Then you can use our FPV gates and just say, hey, we need your gates. We'll probably bring them anyway. Don't get us wrong. Okay, I found the shirt. All right, can everybody close their eyes while Ashley changes into this? No. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you the shirt. <laughs> so last doing. year it was a light blue. And so I said, man, you know, I love the black shirts, but no one else seems to. They're so, so hot in the summertime. That's why they're cool. Summertime. They're so hot, they're cool. And so we went with a darker blue shirt. 
and I like it. I dig it. And I have been using this exact logo on all our graphics. You know, we always had that three color logo, but one day I was like, you know, this one color is kind of cool. Maybe just because we never use it. And so that's what's going on the shirt. It also allows us to make more shirts so that more people can get them. So we just got those. Swagalicious. We also, uh, what's in the store, Jason? Are there stickers in the store? We got stickers, we got wind socks. Oh yeah, the wind socks are cool. Shirts. You know what, the wind sock may be the solution for your banner. If you're on your computer, I think you are, <laughs> uh, you can go to the bottom of the of the RC Groups, any web page on RC Groups, and at the bottom you'll see the RCG store, and you can find that wind sock in there. And that's a RC Groups logo printed on vinyl. Well, it's not vinyl. It's, it's, a, it's a fabric wind sock. Yeah. Custom print on it, both sides. It's white and blue. Looks pretty cool. We'll have a couple of them on our golf carts at, at Seth and Nall. Come here, you. Can you read them? You know, I need to fix how this works, because once you get after double digits, you can't say how many people are on it. Woohoo! Nall shirts rock! <laughs> All right, if you're watching, you're one of two people. You're an RC Groups guy or a Fly Giants guy. The hybridized user is rare. I bet I could jump out of my truck, take that bike off the back of that car, and pass everyone. <laughs> we are going slower in this line. Come here, you got another one. Come here, come here, you. How to do live video on YouTube. Hmm. Well, that's a trade secret. <laughs> or you could just Google it. Um, you have to have a verified account like we have, and uh, there's some things to do. And to do it in the field, we got ourselves some... Uh, defibrillators and some umbilical cord and we're gonna hook all that up uh -oh. real good who's that anyway uh we're also gonna have it's mike hines everybody <laughs> hey you might know mike hines show him his picture that's mike hines you might you might know my ah, about to crash and that's how you do it hey mike hines how's it going you're alive on the, the rc, RC groups podcast yeah, yeah. america's <laughs> largest and most active the world we're, we're in a traffic jam on the way home from toledo RC. and we're live what's broadcasting that? it's busting up the traffic jam but we're actually moving now so that's good what's going on but we will have flying giants shirts at flying giants and they're awesome now i haven't had my hands yeah. on one it was but, pretty cool. but we went more old school on fact let me yeah, I wish I could just rip my shirt yeah, up in the way I did earlier. Awesome. <laughs> so it it's it's crazy. in the vein of the tan shirt, the tan uh, militaristic, yeah, militaristic shirt. So those yeah. are South going to be with us, bit. and like we will be giving those away at uh, the event. I believe it's time to get out of here. Let's do it. All right, Miss Ashley, say goodbye. Bye, Miss Ashley. Right. That's right. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, be sure to go to RC Groups and check out all our stories. Mike Hines says bye, everybody. Mike Hines is out of here. <laughs> Mike Hines is actually doing a review for us on a biplane. Yeah. So it's um, kind of anything cool. old is new yeah, again. And uh, so uh, anyway, go check out our RC features, and like you can go to our YouTube channel, look at all our tracks, videos. Some of those videos may not be in uh, features, they, so you they, might see something that you missed, like the bar. Them. Pretty sure I won't write a, a story about the bar, although I might, because that's how I do it. All right. Uh, ah! We may have just broke a record for the most users right. online at this point. I would love to see right. us so, hit that anyway, bigger cool. on the next one out. On so when we go back out again,